What's up guys, today we are gonna be exploring Big Bitter's energy. <laughs> I just stole that from Greg. What's up guys, today we're gonna be talking about cocktails that utilize bitters as a main component. And I am not talking about Amari, I am talking about bitters like Angostura or Peychaud or orange bitters um, uh, or any other type of bitter that is made to be a concentrated flavor used as a drip or a drab or a dash inside a cocktail. There are some cocktails that were created by bartenders that have made people sort of rethink the use of bitters in drinks. And honestly, a lot of these cocktails look crazy on their face, but on, when you drink them, I think it's gonna change your mind. I'm Leandro Demon Riva. This is the Educated Barfly and do do dee da do 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 tequila. Let's get into making the cocktail. So the next cocktail we're doing is from New York City bartender Don Lee of PDT and Existing Conditions. It is called the Sawyer, and it is pretty freaking good. So first thing we're gonna do is seven dashes Peychaud's bitters, and then seven dashes of orange bitters, and fourteen dashes of Angostura bitters. That is a lot of Angostura bitters. Oh my gosh. Then we're gonna do half an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of simple syrup, two ounces of gin. We're using London Dry for this particular cocktail, but you can use whatever gin floats your boat. Add some ice into our cocktail tin. Add our cocktail in. Give it a nice hard shake. And then we're just going to double strain into a neat glass, like so. And we're gonna give a little lime wedge. And there it is, the Sawyer, let's taste it. Hey, so you get that dryness from the Angostura bitters and sort of that spice, but then you also have the gin coming through and then you have a nice bit of tartness from the lime. It is really surprisingly complex for being so much bitters. I mean, probably I would say at least half to three quarters of an ounce of bitters from all those dashes of bitters in this. So there it is, guys, the Sawyer. Next cocktail we're doing is called an Eeyore's Requiem created by New York City barman, Toby Maloney, who came up in the Milk and Honey family and then went on to open the Violet Hour in Chicago uh, and then uh, Mother's Ruin in New York and a bunch of other really great bars. This cocktail is not only one of his more daring cocktails, but it's also one of his most satisfying, well, in my opinion anyway, and it is, it looks crazy when you do it. And on top of all of that, it is probably the best name for a cocktail I think I've ever come across. All right, enough fanboying. Let's get into making the cocktail. So first thing we're gonna do is 15 drops of orange bitters. One, two, three. Okay, 15 drops of orange bitters. Then we're gonna do one ounce of Dolan Blanc Vermouth. Then we're gonna do quarter of an ounce of Fernet Branca, quarter of an ounce of Chinar. Oh, can't believe I hit the glass. I'm gonna... I have to like equate how much I spilled. All right, calling that a quarter of an ounce. Uh, half an ounce of London Dry Gin. And then, last but not least, an ounce and a half of Campari. Crack our first glut. A piece of, and crack our first piece of, ah! Well, it's hard for me to talk today. Crack our first piece of ice. Maybe crack a second one. Throw some subsequent pieces of ice in there and give it a nice stir. If your ice is very, very dry, you are gonna wanna stir it for a little bit longer as it is going to take a little bit longer for you to dilute your drink and chill it to where you want it to be. Uh, I took a little bit of a risk with this glass too. But I think I calculated the ounces correctly. 
then we're gonna take our Nick and Nora or cocktail glass or coupe, whatever you'd like. And we're going to strain our drink. And then we're gonna take three orange peels. These are very unripe oranges. They're very like tough skins. That's all right, we'll get the, the oil that we need off of them. And then we're just going to zest and discard the oil of three peels. All right, sip it. It is bitter, but it is so complex in flavor and yet so light and crisp at the same time. This cocktail never ceases to amaze me. It is made may basically out of bitters. And not only that, out of some really bitter elements like Fernet Branca, which is gonna be a little higher in ABV than most Amari. And then also uh, it's a, a pretty bitter on the finish. Chinar is also another one that's pretty bitter on the finish. Campari, obviously you, the, Campari is so bitter that a lot of people have to, even myself, even when I first had Campari, I had to acquire a taste for it because it's so bitter. Then you've got that nice Dolan Blanc Vermouth. And what's great is that you would think that the Dolan Blanc Vermouth is too uh, delicate in flavor to really come through, but it really does. And then you also get the botanicals of the gin. This is a genius cocktail. It is something that takes a lot of different components that you would never think would go together very well and then just blends it together into something that this sounds a little pretentious, but like when I talk about cocktails, I like to say that the best cocktails reveal themselves like the layers of an onion. You, it just the complexity kind of uh, evolves as you drink it, and it's and it's something that is uh, different sip to sip. And I think that this cocktail brilliantly encompasses that idea. So there it is, the Eeyore's Requiem. So for our last cocktail, we're doing a Trinidad Sour created by bartender Giuseppe Gonzalez at the New York City Bar Clover Club around 2008. This is a drink that blows everybody's minds because of just how much frickin' Angostura bitters is in it. It is crazy town. I'm gonna just recheck my specs real quick. All right. Let's do it, Marius. All right, first thing we're gonna do First thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, one ounce of orgia, half an ounce of 100 proof rye, we're using Rittenhouse today, and an ounce and a half of Angostura bitters. Marriott, give it a nice shake. Strain into our cocktail glass. This one needs no garnish. When I, every single time I make this drink, it reminds me of uh, a time when I was working at a place called Tony's Saloon, and a guy came in and orders a, ordered a bitters and soda, and uh, I ordered, I, I made it for him, and he started drinking it and everything, and then we were talking because it was a little bit slow. I think it was like a Wednesday night or something. It was pretty slow. He's talking about how he's in Alcoholics Anonymous, and I had to break the news to him that the Angostura bitters actually has more alcohol than Maker's Mark. So a lot of people think that bitters don't have any alcohol, but they're actually super high alcohol most of the time. I mean, they vary, but you know, Maker's, I think Angostura bitters is something like 89.4% uh, alcohol by volume. So it's, it's pretty high in alcohol. Don't know why I had to mention that, just thought I would. All right, let's give it a taste. So what I love about this drink is that the lemon and the orgia combination really mellows out the bitterness of the Angostura and then brings forward the spice. And so it just sort of lengthens out that concentration of flavor so that you can really sort of taste the components of the Angostura. It's really, really fantastic. Um, it's something that a lot of people would just think is completely insane when you look at it because nobody, I mean, anyone who's just involved in the cocktail world knows that Bitters are meant to be used in uh, little dashes for a reason. Uh, but this drink really flies in the face of that. And this is these cl this class of drinks is something that really pushed cocktail making into a different realm when we started getting to the point where everything was just a riff off of a riff off of a riff. Uh, it is a genius cocktail. It is really, really wonderful. So there it is, 
the Trinidad Sour. So there you have it, three cocktails that'll help you guys rethink not only your cocktails and not only your bitters, but your bitters in cocktails. If you like this channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Check us out on theeducatedbarfly.com where you can find our merch, you can find articles and our virtual bottle program if you wanna help us out on the show and have your name called out anytime we use that bottle. And I will see you guys on another time.